Hi, my name is Tony Brown. I'm a personal trainer and I offer cardio and strength building programs as well as nutrition plans tailored for you. Let me help you make health and fitness a lifestyle. Email me at alphabodies925 at gmail.com for more details. Visit my website at alphabodies925.com. Follow me on Instagram at alphabodies925. The first 25 emails will either get my cardio program or strength building program for free. Nutrition plan not included. Don't wait to get in shape. Start now. Game Kings, the definition of game. Documentary, coming soon. Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So in this video, I wanted to talk to you guys out there who are obsessed with looks, right? You're obsessed with looks. You think that your success or failure with women boils down just to your looks. You understand? Or you might think that's even like the, you know, the, the thing that's the most important, Right now, people always have this. Does looks matter? Does looks don't matter? Debate and all that other shit. And both things are right. Meaning looks matter is right. And looks don't matter is also right. You understand what I'm saying? And I've, I've gone over that a million fucking times. Um, but dudes still just don't get it. You understand what I'm saying? It's just like, for example, I use the example again that I've used before. Let's say you're talking about getting a college degree, right? Does it matter that you have a college degree to get a well-paying job? Yes. But do you need a college degree to get a well-paying job? No. So therefore, the college degree doesn't matter. And in one situation, the college degree does matter. The same thing happens for looks. So you can be a guy who gets women, gets sex, based off of a woman liking your look and being sexually attracted to you because of that. And you can also be dealing with a woman who doesn't think you're good looking and still get her and still fuck her. Right? But in this video, I wanted to talk about how there's a lot of guys out there who just assume that when they get rejected, it's because the girl didn't like the way that he looked. So my question to you is, how do you know the girl rejected you because of your looks? How do you know? Now, first of all, when, when a chick rejects you or you don't get shit popping, you shouldn't care that she rejected you. And also, you shouldn't even care why she did it. You understand? You shouldn't care. Because when you're dealing with a woman, it's either she fucking with you or she ain't. So if she ain't fucking with you, then whatever. Right? You just concern yourself with the chicks that's fucking with you. But see, a lot of guys, what happens is that they they want to, you know, they want to know because they figure, well, if women are rejecting me because, you know, I don't look good, then what's the point? You understand? Or, or maybe I can make money or maybe I can... Uh, do this other thing to get girls or, you know, whatever it is, right? Now, this is the thing. You guys won't know why a woman rejects you because most of the time, women don't tell you why. Think about this. I want you guys to really think about the times when you approach women. Because see, a lot of dudes, they, they man... Guys be talking a whole bunch of shit, but they talk about shit in an unrealistic way, right? Because a guy will say, well, you know, these women, they, they rejected me because of my looks or they rejected me because they don't think I look good. No, you're assuming she rejected you because of your looks, right? Why? Because most of the time when you guys approach women, they don't tell you why they rejected you. So you have no fucking idea. Right now, don't come in a comment section talking about. Well, no, I know because when you know I be I got rejected by these girls and they all told me that they rejected me because I was ugly. Shut the fuck up. No, they didn't. No, they did not. You understand? They 
Guys, just think about it. Think about the times when you approached women, hollered at them and all that other stuff, right? Most women are not going to even give you a reason because a lot of times they'll just kind of keep it moving, right? And two, a lot of times when they give you a reason as to why they don't want to give you the number or why they don't want to take your number or whatever, it's 90% of the time, 95% of the time, is not, they're not going to tell you, even if, listen, and this is the funny part, even if they rejected you because they didn't like the way you look, most of them ain't going to tell you that. They'll be like, oh, well, you know, I'm just, uh, uh, you know, I, I have a boyfriend or I'm not, you know, I'm not really like in the mood right now to be dating, you know, some bullshit. I'm really busy. No, I'm sorry. I can't. You understand? Right? But you don't know why they reject you. See, a lot of guys, they assume that the woman rejected them because of their looks, because most men don't understand attraction when it comes to them interacting with women. So they think, well, well, what, what else does she have to go on besides my looks? So it got to be because of my looks. And that's that's why she she rejected me because that's you know that's the only thing she sees because you know it's just the looks and then the looks get you in the door so that's why you know no guys stop it listen understand this a woman can think you look good and still not want to fuck you I'm gonna say that again a woman can think you look good and still not want to fuck you I'm gonna say it one more time. A woman could think you look good and still not want to fuck you. Why is this so hard for guys to understand? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's just like, guys, get out there in real life. Because I talked about this before. You being good looking doesn't equate all the time to sexual attraction. You understand? So that means that a woman can think you look good and still reject you. So therefore, if she thinks you look good and she still rejects you, guess what? She didn't reject you because of your looks. Right? But this is what guys assume because most guys don't have, uh, you know, experience with women. So they're just going based off of their own thing because guys are thinking, well, I'm going to reject a girl if she doesn't look good. And, um, you know, if a girl looks good, I'm just going to fuck her. That's because you're thinking from your male mindset. Right. Because, see, for you guys, a chick could look good. And her personality sucks and it turns you off, but you'll still fuck her. For a lot of women, it's not like that. Now, there are situations where a woman may be sexually attracted to a guy and thinks he looks really good and his personality sucks and she'll still want to fuck him. But there's a lot of situations where women, they're, they're like, oh, this guy looks good. I'm kind of sexually attracted to him. But then his personality sucks or something that he does turns her off and she don't want to fuck him. 99% of guys ain't like that. Meaning 99% of us men a chick could be terrible and will still fuck her because she looks good. So therefore, you think that that's how women are operating just like us. See, there's a lot of reasons as to why the woman will reject you that don't got nothing to do with your looks, right? She could actually have a boyfriend, right? You're, you're a, you, you could be talking to a girl and she's looking at you and your appearance sucks, right? The way you're put together. You might have, for example, scuffed up shoes. And because your, your shoes look whack, she don't want to fuck with you. She ain't want to talk to you. She's looking at you like, this corny ass nigga, I ain't, I ain't fucking with this guy, right? You could be talking to a chick and your breath stinks. She don't want to fuck with you. You understand? You could talk to a chick, she don't like the sound of your voice. Right? Your mouthpiece could suck. She could be a lesbian. There's all these different reasons... As to why she rejected you. Right? But you're thinking, oh, it's all about my looks. That she she rejected me because she didn't like the way I look. How in the fuck do you know? How do you know? So 
if you approach a girl in the street, right, and you say, hey, miss, how you doing? What's going on? And she, she kind of just looks at you keep walk, and keeps walking. How do you know that she, uh, you know, didn't want to talk to you because of your looks? How do you know? Wait, do you do you run up on this chick and you say you you run after her and be like, hey miss, hey miss, hold on one second, one second. I just want to know, I just want to know. Uh, did you did you not want to talk to me because you think I'm ugly, right? You don't you don't you don't do that. You have no idea, right? That girl could have a boyfriend. She could be on her way to to see her boyfriend or whatever, and that's why she ain't talking to you. She ain't talking to no niggas because she's on her way to see a boyfriend, right? But a lot of guys, they'll think, oh, well, if I looked good, she would have stopped her because she thought I looked good. And then she would have wanted to talk to me. <sighs> you guys. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. This is why you got to learn game. This is why you guys have to learn game. Because learning game also is not just about you learning how to, uh, you know, attract women. It's also understanding these different dynamics when it comes to the interactions you're going to have with women so that you don't walk around with some bullshit in your head thinking, oh, well, you know, it's only because of my looks, right? Because again, think about all the times when you, uh, you know, been rejected by a chick, right? If you're, if you, let's say you're the type of guy who approaches women in the street a lot, right? Nine times out of ten, they're not going to tell you why they're rejecting you. They're going to be like, oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm just not interested. I'm sorry. I got to go. Um, I, I'm flattered, but no, right? And they just keep it pushing. They don't sit you down, hold your hand, and tell you, hey, sir, I just want to let you know, well, the reason why I, did, I, I rejected you was because yada yada. They're not sitting there doing all that shit, right? They're not sitting there doing all that shit. You know, I'll be, I'll be in these, these clubs, these bars or whatever. You know, I remember I was with one of my boys and shit. And uh, he saw this bad chick, you know, walking out the spot as we was coming in. And he was like, yo, he's like, hey, miss, what's up? And she was like, nah, I'm good. And just walked away. Right? Now... Which I will assume is, oh, well, it's because of the looks. But you have no fucking idea because you didn't ask that woman. That woman didn't tell you shit. You understand what I'm saying? And it's funny because the dude that I'm talking about. He's a he's actually a model. He's one of these Amber Crombie and Fitch niggas, the ones that you see on the on the the the, the models on those when you go into the Macy's and they, they give you a, a paper bag and they have a picture of a model on it. He's those niggas. You understand what I'm saying? He's the type of dude that a good majority of women would say is good looking. And the chick was like, nah, I'm good, and just kept walking. So you guys out there with all of this, oh, well, she rejected me because of my looks. Stop the fucking bullshit. Yo, yo, what's going on? Listen, guys, myself and Miles Cunningham, we are coming out with a virtual seminar on June 30th. 2020 at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is going to be on Zoom and it's called Expectations versus Reality. What men have to do to be successful in the game. Listen, guys. This seminar, the game's gonna be crazy heavy. I'm telling you guys, do not wanna miss this shit. Uh, listen, space is extremely, extremely limited, okay? So guys, do not try to wait at the last minute to register, so click the link in the description box and register now. You feel what I'm saying? Do it right now, you feel what I mean? All right, so that's pretty much it. I'm out of here, guys, and remember, the truth is inside you. Peace, I'm gone. Now, before you go, click the link below and go to badboymembership.com. Now, badboymembership.com is a place where you go to get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. Listen, I know you're tired of being rejected. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of being afraid to approach women. Go to badboymembership.com.
I know you're tired of not getting the women that you want. Go to badboymembership.com. Listen, I know you're tired of being alone on a Friday night. Go to badboymembership.com. Now picture this. You'll go from not getting what you want when it comes to you dealing with women to actually getting what you want, to being the guy women want to be with, women want to date, women want to have sex with. All you need to do is go to badboymembership.com, follow the steps, learn the game, implement the game, and then you will get the woman you want. Make sure you go to badboymembership.com today. Click the link below.